guys and welcome back. This is David here. I am at CEG Dealer School Studios. Uh, no, it's just our school actually. But anyways, I'm on the dice table and we are here to do a system review today and give you guys some feedback, what I think of it, how it plays out. So uh, we are going to review, for your pleasure, the two-point molly, which could also be the three-point molly, four-point molly, and so on. Outside of the Iron Cross, a lot of you are familiar with, the two-point molly is a very popular system, and in fact, you may already play it and don't realize you're already playing it because it is that sort of famous a system. If you look at a lot of books that talk about dice, the two-point molly is one of the favorite systems because the math works out pretty well. And by that I mean playing the two-point molly reduces the casino edge to sort of the very bottom of the barrel. And by the way, you'll notice I don't discuss too, too much math when I'm going over these systems because clearly if it was about the math, we'd all be home in our underwear. Nobody would be here in Vegas gambling and trying to win and trying to have, you know, a good time uh, in Vegas. So, and then of course, nobody playing Kino, and there's that. So, we avoid the math. What we talk about is opportunity. So, what is a two point molly? It's very simple. Two point molly is you bet the pass sign, and once you have a point, you bet the come, and you take odds, whatever odds you'd like. And then, once your comeback goes to a number, you put odds on that, and then you basically just keep two combats on the table. So, you follow up with a second combat, that'll go to a number. You would take odds on that combat, and then at this point, you would wait for that combat to hit. So let's say, if, for example, an eight or six or an eight hit, I would pay you, and then you would go ahead and maybe start another combat. A two point molly idea is to keep two combats in play, okay? So in this case, if one of them comes off and you still have one, then you're gonna put another one, wait for that to go to a number. Let's say the 10 is called, you would take odds, and now you're waiting, you have two points out here covered, and you have your pass line bet with odds. And that's it. That's a very basic explanation for the system. So here, let's let's do it this way. Let's rewind for some of you that are sort of new to dice. Let's do it this way, okay? So for example, if you had a $100 buy-in, I'm gonna put the $100 right here. You would first start your first bet on the pass line on the come out roll, okay? Once there's a point established, you would then take odds on your pass line we always advise you to take the maximum odds that you can because that is the best bet in the house. So here on most strip casinos is three times, four times, and five times your flat bet. So points five, let's say, you could take 20 odds. Then you would come out with another $5 coming. And then let's say a nine is rolled. The next roll is nine. You would then, your come bet would go to nine. You can take another 20 odds, okay? And let's say the next, and then you would put back Five dollars in the come because you only have one come bet. Two point molly, you want two points working. And then let's say a 10 is rolled. 10 is rolled, that's three times your flat bet. Again, three, four, five. So we're gonna put $15 here. And now we're gonna wait to these uh, for these to roll again in order to get paid. So if the 10 rolls again, before seven that is, you're gonna get $35, okay? So you get two times for the odds and then single, single for the flat. Okay, even money for the flat for $35. If the nine should hit, you're also gonna get $35 because the 20 pays 30, every two will get you three, and then again, the flat is gonna pay even money, and your dealer would then pay you, take this money down if the nine hit, and then here, you would have the option to pick up all this money and leave another $5 coming so that you can keep two other points working, okay? It's just that simple, and uh, now let's roll this back and go over pros and cons of this system. One of the pros of the system is it's easy to keep track of. It's very easy to keep track of because you're only, it's very simple, you stay with a flat bet, you keep your combat coming, you have two of those coming if you wanna add another one, a three point molly, four point molly, it's very easy to sort of keep track. It's easy to see where your money's at, right? The deal will move your money on, you'll know where your money is. As far as the odds go, that's pretty easy, and you know what to expect as far as the payoff. Sometimes with place bets, they can get they can get a little uh, a little bit weird once you get into higher units, so, so that's a pro. The other pro is it doesn't require too much of an investment, right? So at first, you know, especially if you keep it, if, let's say for example, you don't wanna take full odds, let's say just double odds, or even single odds, $100, on a five dollars table, if you have a pass time of five odds, and then you have a come bet with five odds, and then let's say you get a nine, I mean, here you are, 10, 20, 30 dollars, right, for the shooter. 
So it's a pretty low investment potential. Uh, obviously, if you have 10 times odds or 100 times odds, the more odds you take, the more investments that's required. And that's, that's, that's really it. So it doesn't require a whole lot of buy-in. It's pretty easy to keep track of. What are the cons? So the cons for me is it's not as much opportunity as you think because again, you need the number to hit twice to get paid. That's number one. The other thing is, is if you see someone that rolls for quite a while, rolls a lot of numbers, you miss the opportunity to take advantage of that type of shooter. Especially if, let's say for example, you know, you get on the six and eight and now they're rolling fours and tens or fives and nines or whatever the other case is, you know, you're pretty much stuck, you know, on these three numbers, right? Your two points here, your two combats, and your pass line bet. The other con is uh, this system can go south quickly. As much as it's a bit of a grindy system, it can go south. You can sort of get strung out, get those two numbers out there, you see a lot of other numbers come on, and then seven out. And so any profits that you stand to make on one roll, you stand to lose on another roll if you get into this scenario where you have three numbers and then a seven type of thing. Here's what I will say. The buy-in is based on your flat bet. For every $5 you're gonna go flat, you're probably gonna need $100 to buy in for, give or take. Maybe even 150 if you do go three, four, five max odds, okay? Because if you're on $5 on the pass line, on the six and eight, you're gonna take $25 odds. So if you put out, or let's say if you get a five, a point of five, right? And here, let's break this down for you, ready? Okay, let's say for example, there's $25. Here's three green checks, okay? There's a $100 payoff. Look how quickly this goes on a three, four, five times table. If you have $5 in the line, points five, 20, okay? I need a few more. And then six and eight are the next two rolls, and you're taking 25 odds. I mean, you're in your 100 bucks, just like that, very quickly. So I would say for this system, for every five, you probably need like $150. So if you're on a $10 table, you probably need $300 to start the system. If you're on a $15 table, you're probably need about 450 this kind of thing. So that's what the buy-in for. So who's this for? Well, it's for someone that's kind of, that doesn't want to risk a lot of money uh, for the most part, and just wants to really grind out the game. If you're looking to create opportunity for, your system, for yourself, staying with flatbed, staying with the same two-point molly is really not the system to create opportunity. It will keep you in the game, and you'll have plenty of opportunity to order uh, drinks, usually, unless again, someone hits a point, two numbers, and then seven, that's the worst case scenario. That doesn't happen all that often, so you're, you're gonna get some of your money back, and again, you're gonna have money in the come to get back on any sevens that roll, that kind of thing. So for the most part, it's just a very grindy system, and it's a really flippin' boring system, quite frankly. Uh, but there's that. So um, it's for you if you just want to uh, stay in the game, uh, keep the pace kinda low, and um, you know not put all that much money at risk all at one time but anyways there you go that's your system review for today thank you very much for uh, joining us and i look forward to seeing you next time at casino quest here in las vegas bye take care bye what's going on guys it's alex here we just finished recording our 12 minute challenge we'd like to invite you guys anyone that's interested in coming down you don't have to pay or anything like that just come down join our discord link and also join us on twitch we stream four days a week live blackjack live craps live carnival games hope to see you soon bye